Welcome back to Flick Favorites. I'm going to explain an action, thriller, crime film from 2022, titled Ambulance. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy the content. We first witness Will Sharp, a former Marine and Afghanistan veteran. While he is speaking with a doctor on the phone, we find out that Will scheduled an appointment for his wife, but the man from the hospital tells him that he needs to go for coffee, and hangs up in his face. His wife Amy, who has been listening to the entire exchange, she still has faith in her husband. He contacts Danny, his adopted brother and a lifelong criminal, since he urgently needs $231,000 for his wife Amy's experimental cancer procedure. The next scene shows an ambulance receiving dispatch instructions and traveling to the scene of the collision. EMTs and emergency medical technicians are the owners of this ambulance. Cam observes how terrible the accident is. A young girl in the back seat who has an iron rod in her stomach receives first aid before being taken to the hospital. Will, on the other hand, visits his brother Danny's garage, which is filled with expensive automobiles, and Danny greets him as he arrives. The two brothers are delighted to see one another, and when Will tells Danny that he needs his assistance, Danny responds that he is well aware of the fact that his brother only visits him when he needs assistance. They continue by viewing some of their childhood photos and reflecting on the fun times. Will responds to Danny's question by stating that he requires $231,000 for Amy's operation. If he's prepared to work with them, Danny says he can have much more than that. Danny talks him into taking part in a $32 million bank heist. Will finally accepts after some hesitation as Danny reiterates that he is doing this for Amy. They want to use a delivery vehicle they seized and painted to carry out the crime. They board the vehicle and drive to the Los Angeles Federal Bank. When they enter the bank and have everything under control, Zack the policeman suddenly appears. He learns about the predicament when asking out a bank teller at the bank, at which point Danny takes him hostage. Then one of the theft participants and Zack's colleague officer Mark engage in a gunfight. The LAPD's Special Investigation Section, or SIS, comes and opens fire on the whole team with the exception of Will and Danny, who flee into the garage. Zack makes an effort to flee, and as he and Danny are fighting, Will inadvertently shoots Zack. The brothers try to escape through the building's rear but discover that it is surrounded by police, so they leave Zack to die. They then take over a Falk ambulance that has Zack's medical care provider Cam Thompson inside. After a pursuit that sends them into an alley, Cam desperately tries to use a fire extinguisher to get away, but when Zack begins to collapse, Cam chooses to remain. The cops quickly locate the ambulance and begin pursuing it. Danny now starts assisting Cam in her efforts to save Zack. Danny himself does not want to be responsible for the killing of an innocent man, especially because the victim is a police officer. Then, Poppy and Roberto, two more individuals, appear. The father of Will and Danny is friends with Poppy. Poppy receives a call from Danny informing him that they are being pursued by the police and promising him $8 million in exchange for helping them escape. Cam informs them that she is running low on emergency blood, so Will offers Zack his own blood as he continues to drive while mowing down everything in his path. But now that the FBI is now after them, they are in much more trouble. Agent Clark right away recognizes Danny, he takes his team and follows the two brothers. Mark has been pursuing them, and when Cam prevents Danny from shooting him, he threatens to toss her from the ambulance. When it is revealed that Monroe's dog Nitro is inside Mark's police car, the cops are forced to flee. Danny's former buddy and FBI agent Anson Clark are assigned to the investigation. While the fatal chase is still being shown live on television, FBI agent Clark visits Captain Monroe and informs him that Danny, a criminal who has been planning this crime since he was just 17 years old, is the mastermind. He continues by saying that the man's father was an amazing legend who once stole six major banks. According to Clark, who is highly familiar with Danny, Zack will not be killed since Danny is not a monster and does not kill people even if he is a crook. 
Instead, he will use Zack to escape from the FBI and the police. Then, as Zack's condition begins to deteriorate, Captain approaches Clark for assistance with this case as Cam announces that Zack needs immediate surgery. But as Danny places a pistol on her head, she realizes they can't stop now. She makes a call to a medical friend of hers, who begins advising her on what she should do. Zack's spleen ruptures, and Cam starts surgery on him with Will's help. Despite her inexperience, Cam completes the procedure successfully, and Zack gets well as a result. Will then assures Cam that she shouldn't be afraid since they won't harm anyone. The captain calls Cam's medical buddy to inquire about the procedure, but the doctor declines to provide any specific information, explaining that Zack is in a very severe condition. Now that he is out of control, the captain wants to murder the brothers as well as catch them. However, the doctor is unaware that Cam did well throughout the procedure, which is why he warned the captain that Zack might not survive. Captain then orders his snipers to go to different locations, and try to take a shot at Danny and Will. However, Agent Clark is not a fan of this notion, so he contacts Cam and informs her that the cops are about to execute the brothers and instructs her to hide beneath the stretcher. Clark is warned not to make this error by Cam, who informs him that Zack is still alive and that the operation was a success, and that he is already healing. However, they refuse to pay attention, so the captain instructs his snipers to carry out the earlier orders. Cam will now have to inform the brothers of the snipers. They turn the truck in time to escape the onslaught when she tells Danny about their plot to shoot them dead. Danny, having had enough of Cam, decides to shoot her, but Will intervenes, causing the brothers to fight about their predicament. While the boys continue to struggle, Cam texts the FBI agent to inform them of Danny's scheme. The agent then informs Cam that if she wants to survive, she must convince Will to join with her and force the brothers to engage in combat. When Cam learns that Will is doing everything for his wife, she begins to take Will's blood once more in an effort to weaken him. Cam then acts sorrowful in an effort to win Will over to her side. In contrast, we observe that Poppy's men have already set up a large number of ambulances that exactly like the ones the brothers have taken over. Their plan is to swap the ambulance and confuse the police. One of Danny's guys phones him and informs him of Poppy's plan, which also includes a lot of cutting-edge weapons. The brothers listen to music together to de-stress and somewhat make up. Helicopters are pursuing the ambulance on the Los Angeles River while Danny is firing at them. Then, Will and Danny drive in the other lane of the highway, resulting in several collisions. Eventually, the brothers arrive at the spot where Poppy's men are already waiting for them. When they exit the ambulance, Danny informs Will he may go right now since what is about to happen is extremely risky. He tells his brother that he has a family to take care of, so he does not want to put his life in danger. Danny is relieved to learn that Will also has a sibling to care for when Will informs him of this. In an effort to confound and divert the authorities, Danny has now painted his automobile green. On the other hand, a large number of ambulances that look just like the one the brothers have been driving have taken to the road. While the police surround and halt one of the ambulances, Danny and Will are able to flee by taking advantage of the confusion. Then, Danny tells Roberto that they have successfully escaped and advises him to leave the area as well. When the ambulance approaches the area where several police officers have congregated, Roberto detonates the device, resulting in numerous fatalities. Roberto puts up a bomb in his ambulance before jumping out. One of the policemen notices Roberto as he runs away from the scene and pursues him. Then, to further damage, Poppy's men fire machine guns at other automobiles. A police officer called Mark pursues Roberto despite the fact that the attack was intended to be a distraction. Mark eventually catches Roberto, and during the ensuing struggle, Roberto is murdered. Poppy loses his mind with despair when he finds out that his kid has died. The commander also perishes in the middle of all this fighting. While Zack has now woken up and given Cam a gun to defend herself, Will and Danny flee to Poppy's lair, 
where Poppy orders the brothers to leave Cam and Zack for them to deal with. In order to eliminate Poppy and his men, Will refuses to comply and joins forces with Danny. Cam unintentionally shoots Will with Zack's rifle during the commotion. Two people are now in the ambulance. When Cam admits that she was the one who shot Will, Danny becomes furious and refuses to ride in the ambulance to the hospital after finding Zack's pistol. Before addressing the cops, Danny declares on national television that he and Cam will both be killed. Will shoots Danny in the back because he has no other option. Prior to Will passing away from his injuries, Danny apologizes to him. When questioned by the police about his injuries, Zack claims that Will saved his life and that Cam gave part of the theft money to Amy for her operation. Will is severely hurt when the police arrive and are forced to take him inside for surgery. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Your support would be appreciated. I hope to see you next time.